I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Monday, January the 23rd. Or late in the week last week, we saw a, re a recovery and a rebound of these big feeders after the fat trade was so much higher, three to four dollars higher, and the board was positive through the week. But uh, you look at how the market started off last week, it was it was hard to tell what the market was because over the, that weekend where we had the ice storms and so much moisture all through the plains in the Midwest, it was just really wet or the roads weren't good enough to get cattle in. And then we started having some decent sales on Wednesday and the market looked at least fully steady. And then on Thursday and Friday had some big sales. And after all those positive uh, indicators, and the other parts of the cattle market, uh, we saw some big rebounds on heavy feeders that have been kind of slumping ever since the new year. But two to five dollars back in most of your sales on Thursday and Friday on big cattle. Uh, your middleweight cattle and lighter weight calves also good through the week where they were tested firm to five dollars higher spots as much as ten dollars higher you saw guys coming in in the southern plains restocking wheat pastures that they just emptied out just a few weeks ago because it was getting so dry but uh, after that little rain there of two to three inches that'll really make that wheat pop and and they need something to turn back out there and, and put some cheap pounds on uh, not some and uh, not so much in the southeast we didn't see a lot of that we're not a lot of people ordering cattle out of the southeast and they're sure not gonna order cattle and then have to straighten them up before they turn them out on wheat they need some cattle that are already been together and, and can go right on wheat and start gaining some ground but up in the the northern plains you're seeing guys still buying background and calves and and cattle to turn out on grass this summer already but uh, look at some sales in there. Imperial, Nebraska on Saturday evening had a load of 665 pound steers bring 147. You look at uh, Bluegrass Stockyards in Richmond, Kentucky. They had a load of 542 pound steer calves Friday around 10 o'clock and they bring 150.30 which uh, might not really uh, raise your eyebrows but you put some wheels under those uh, for several dollars a hundred and, and they're not going to be cheap either but uh, pretty good market out there let's look at some big steers in south coffeeville oklahoma had a load of big load of 902 pound steers at 128.85 friday evening at 535 you look at those uh, 902 pounders at 128.85 that's 1165 dollars a head your June live cattle board is at 108.70. If you make them weigh 1,400, that's 1,521 dollars, and uh, takes it down to 359 dollars a head difference. And uh, if you can uh, do all that for 72 cents, including your gain and your expenses, your freight, your interest, your uh, your drugs, and your death loss, then you can make some money. But that's a lot better than it was uh, just a few weeks ago. That's your feeder flash for Monday.